Hi, I'm Jenny Towner, a volunteer manager with Youth Mentoring, and I want to share a story of God's faithfulness during the pandemic. So we had been looking for a mentor for a particular student for quite some time, and we were so excited um, when Daryl agreed to be this student's uh, mentor. This student is a freshman in high school and his best friend had been mentored for some time and he was really um, excited to have a mentor himself. So unfortunately, right when we were about to get Daryl trained, the pandemic hit and the stay at home order went into effect. And so we had to put that training on hold for a period of time. But as summer came and the number COVID numbers came down, and we understood we could wear masks and social distance as well as just being comfortable with Zoom, we decided to go ahead and train Daryl um, virtually. That went great. We got Daryl trained, I think in July and were able to do the match meeting with his student in September. Well, it started off great. Um, they were able to meet outside and they were getting to know each other and things seemed to be going really well. But when we had our check-in with the coaches um, in December, I learned that Daryl had lost touch with both the student and his mom. He was not getting any response from either of them and was um, not really sure what to do. So Christmas went by. Um, we encouraged him to continue to reach out to the mom and the student um, with the hope that maybe things would settle down and they would be able to, you know, a situation would allow them to get back in touch. Still didn't hear anything. Kept praying, kept praying. Uh, March rolled around and we heard through the grapevine of um, this student's best friend who is also being mentored. Um, his mentor let us know that um, the student mom had moved to Chicago and the student was staying with a family friend and did not have a phone at that time. Um, so that explained a lot. So we kept praying and said, um, you know, please encourage him to reach out just as soon as he's able. Um, we'd like to, to be in touch with him. And then um, early May, we um, he did, the student did reach out to this other mentor and gave her a number that he could be contacted at. Um, his, this family friend had gotten him a phone, a permanent situation, so he was going to be able to um, continue to, to be a part of the program. So our first reaction would be to like get that information to his coach, get it to Daryl, have Daryl reach out to him. But I just felt that God was um, a nudge from God to slow down and think because by this point, Daryl was pretty discouraged and in, um, was, was honestly ready to uh, stop mentoring and just let it go. He was, just felt like it wasn't, wasn't worth it for him to keep trying to pursue someone that was unavailable. So what I felt God saying <clears throat> was to have um, the student reach out to Daryl, his mentor, and let him know that he now had a phone number that was going to be permanent and that um, he really did want to continue mentoring um, with, with Daryl. Um, and then within 24 hours, I heard from his coach that Daryl had reached out to his coach to have a meeting and talk about how to continue mentoring, that he was not ready to give up, that he had heard from the student and was um, just wanted some encouragement and advice on how to move forward. Um, so they have uh, reunited and are continuing their mentoring relationship. It's been, um, it's been hard. The pandemic has truly affected mentoring and it's been a challenge for all of our mentors, but especially our newer mentors that were just barely, you know, just getting to know their students when all this um, happened. But what we see is that with lots of prayer, lots of patience and just um, 
persevering in our commitments that God is faithful and these relationships can continue to grow. Thanks.